Hello and welcome to Taste in a Platter. In today's video, I want to show you how to dry out hydrangeas. You can see my hydrangeas. It's a tiny plant, but this is the annual variety. Uh, when it's in full season during summer months, it has a beautiful white flowers and then it will turn to a greenish white color. It's such a wonderful way to bring um, some colors inside uh, for your winter months to come and to preserve the season. Uh, so the first thing to focus is to pick the right flowers at the right time. You do not want to pick any fresh flowers that would wilt easily. Uh, you have to wait until all the blooms are open and then you have to feel the flowers and it should have like a papery texture to it. The second thing to focus is to cut the right flowers and to, at the right place. So um, where the leaves are coming, that part is called the nodes and uh, you have to make a cut in between the nodes. So you must have an idea about what kind of ways you're using, what kind of arrangement that you're going to use um, or do and um, um, you know how tall you want the stems to be. And once you cut it, bring them inside and uh, give it a fresh cut. Uh, it can be like an angle cut or you can do a vertical cut with the scissors just like the way I did here. I hope you can see it clearly. And then the third thing to do is bring your vase, fill it with the one to two inches of water. That's all you need. You're not going to refill the water and leave the stems inside um, and keep it in a dry, dark place for at least two to three weeks and uh, away from sunlight uh, and your flowers will be ready um, and uh, you can keep it in your living room. You can use the stems to make a nice wreath uh, for the season and here is how it looks after a month and I hope you like the video. Uh, thank you so much.